Okay guys, I'm going to film a tutorial really quick here. I've had a couple requests on how I do my pockets for my dory. Um, I always, I've been making them this way for a while, so I've had a couple different requests and I'm going to try to film one for you. So the way that I do it is um, you're going to need two pieces of cardstock. You're going to need two project one Project Life Becky Higgins style A pocket and then two baseball card sleeves and then you'll need a thumbtack or some kind of hole punching tool a needle and thread and I use this for um, poking through so you can you can tell there's holes all over it and I do use a punch to help make extra pockets in here um, like right here there's actually two and then you can slide papers back here if you want also and I use a one and three quarter inch punch for these little indents so we're gonna start with the pockets and what we need to do first is cut down our sleeves so I have my paper cutter here and what I'm gonna do is cut the binder ring holes off first and then I'm going to cut off one section of three of the pockets like that so then I have two sets of three and I'm going to do that to my other one and you can save this one for a mini pocket letter if you want I usually do that um, so I'm going to cut off three and make sure you pay attention to where the seams are too when you're cutting them. And then for the Becky Higgins one, I'm gonna cut the rings off again. And then I'm gonna cut the top section. Make sure it opens at the top, the top section of four by six is off. There we go. So now we have our pockets for the inside and what you do now and I'm going to show you a little trick here. One thing you want to make sure is make sure you're um, you don't want to sew these shut so make sure the seam for that is over to the side and make sure you check both like see that one would have been the wrong way so I'm going to stick it like this. And what I do to keep everything from shifting, because they're very slippery and it can be a total pain, is I'm going to line them up perfectly together and then I'm going to staple right on the seam so it's not wrecking anything. But yet they're not going to shift and mess anything up either. So I have both opening right here. And I know I need to have it to this side of the middle seam because I'm going to sew along here and I don't want to sew my pocket shut. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to staple it right here. And we'll take these out after, like I said. Don't freak out about them, but it's just going to keep everything. I don't like where that one is. I'm going to use my seam ripper and pop it out. Um, it's just going to make it easier, you know. So that things aren't shifting and you know everything's right where it has to be and you're not sewing anything shut. So I'm going to line them up and staple. And then I'm going to line up this side and staple it again. There we go. So now that part's done. This is ready to be sewn in. And I want my gold on the outside so I'm going to take my 12 by 12 sheet and I am going to use this as a template for how big I want it to be. So, I have an A5 dory, so I'm going to make it so that it fits my A5. And I'm going to fold it up. <laughs> I want to make sure that it's going to be about the size of my sleeve. This might be a little big or a little small, but that's okay. I'm going to fold it up to make the pocket part and if you look it's fairly close. I did pretty close eyeballing. Then what you're going to do 
fold it in half, crease it, and we're almost done already, you guys. <laughs> it goes really quick. So there we go. Now, if you want to punch holes, you can go ahead and do that right now before you hook everything down. So I'm going to do one right here. I'm going to do one on this side. And I just eyeball about halfway. And I'm going to do one up here. Oh. I'm going to do one right here. There we go. Now, I like to tape the side seam shut. You can sew it, you can glue it, you can do whatever you like, but I'm just going to use scotch tape on this one. So I just do the side pocket over here, like so, and this side, same thing. There we go. And then I'm going to take this and put it together with here. Now I picked out some thread in a color that I liked. I cannot see my thread. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna grab out another thing of thread because I can't find where I moved it to. Okay, I have some thread in a color that I like. I'm gonna pull out a length. This one's probably a little short. Um, probably about 18 inches is safe. I never measure I just eyeball. So I'm going to take and thread a darning needle or a yarn needle. Now, if you don't want to put staples through your stuff, you can do binder clips too. That's always an option. I'm just stapling because I don't know. I feel like it. <laughs> I got it fixed. <laughs> you want to make sure that the three by twos are up and the four by sixes are down. And then one in the middle, two on the top, two on the bottom for the holes. And I put that mouse pad underneath for poking the holes. Then you start in the center, back, hole like so. Go up and then you go down through this one in a figure eight. You go up and then you go back down through this hole Back up through the center, being careful not to pull your tail through with you. So hold on to your tail as you pull your needle through. Okay, hold my tail. <laughs> Shh. Okay, 